Hi everyone, it's Angie with The Painted Feather. Coming at you live on my own page today. Um, I had some questions about scuff sanding. I've been telling everybody to scuff sand their projects before they paint it. And I just wanted to demonstrate exactly what that means. Um, what I'm working on today is this cute little side table and I actually have to do a little bit of repair on it. So right here, you can see that I've applied Dixie Mud to it, and I'm letting that dry right now. And I started to sand it, and then I figured I would just take the opportunity to show you how I just lightly scuff sand the surface so that the paint will adhere a lot better. And it will, it will just make the difference in making your project come out really, really great instead of just okay. So um, the repair that I did on this, I used Dixie Mud in Brown. So hi, Amy. And I, you have to put this in the refrigerator after you open it. So just FYI on that, if you use any of this mud, you can use this mud to do raised stencils also. And I have it in three colors. And you can even add colors to the white one, which is kind of fun. So Anyway, I'm not showing you um, anything about the mud today. I just want to show you, I have these things. I just got some more in stock called Rad Pads, and these come in four different grits, and this is an eight pack of two different grits each, starting at medium, going all the way up to super fine to smooth your project. And if you want some of these, let me know, because I have them in stock. Hi, Vanessa. Um, so anyway, I cut mine in half so that I can use them a little bit easier because the big size is a little bit um, harder to use. But I'm just going to show you really quick. With something like this, you don't want to use, I could use my DeWalt sander, but there's all these little all these little grooves and all these little nooks and crannies to get into and I don't want to destroy any of that beautiful woodwork so I'm just gonna take my little this is the fine sander a sanding sponge and you just go over the surface not you know a little bit of pressure but you can see how that is really getting down in there and you can see it's um, it's putting this film all over it. I'm gonna wipe that off before I paint this. But to scuff sand, you really just gently go over the surface and these rad pads make quick work out of it. So, um, so when I'm telling you scuff sand, this is it. And if you're gonna paint underneath, make sure you get the underneath part too. But the reason I really love these too is that they just go around all these edges really nicely and see how easy that is if you're using a sander you're gonna nick up and you're gonna flatten out areas that you don't want to but these rad pads are really nice to get down into all these little surfaces so I mean that is all you have to do right there and if you don't get down exactly inside these little grooves those aren't really going to get a whole lot of wear and tear, so you don't have to worry so much about um, those areas being protected. You want the paint to stick, and this will really help that. So that's, that's all that you're going to do is just scuff it up like that. And, and, and it will, the, the cool thing is these bend super easy, so it will get down in that, and you can... Um, you can rinse these off too, which is nice. So um, that's what I wanted to show you on that. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing with this cute little table is I really wanna use black glaze and Annabelle and Blue. So Annabelle and Blue is such a beautiful color. I'm gonna use the Annabelle and Blue, then I'm gonna go over it with a black glaze, but before I put the black glaze on, I will be putting my clear coat in satin on because I want to be able to move my glaze around a little bit better. And if you put the glaze straight on the paint, it's going to stick and it's going to be a lot darker. It's not going to, um, it's not going to be something that you can move around and take out of the areas that you don't want it. So when I apply my glaze, I'm going to clear coat this first 
and then I will apply the glaze and I will wipe it back so that it sits back in those recessed areas. And I'll show you an example of that. Um, this is honky tonk red with black glaze over it. And I have glazes in several colors, but see how it's sitting back in those recessed areas? Just really makes it very dramatic and it changes the color. I don't know if you can see the regular, you can see a little bit of that red color on here, but see how much darker it looks and just adds, um, adds some drama to the piece and antebellum and the black looks amazing. Hi, Tanya. So I have so many different um, products to make things look awesome, but anyway, just wanted to jump on and tell you about scuff sanding. So if you need any of these sanding pads, let me know. I have packages of them in stock. And if you wanna paint something, let me know. And now I'm gonna get back to work on this and I will post progress photos. So hope you are all having a wonderful Monday. Um, let me know if you need anything. I'm delivering in Sonoma County. All right guys, have a great day, bye.